Excitement in the kitchen. Say, let's see the excitement. All right. Just you come along with me and I'll show it to you. Hello friends, this is Jonathan, the appliance dude here at Curdo's in Westchester County, lounging quite casually next to the new DCS 36 inch grill, that is the BGC 36 BQAR, this one a natural gas, and it's a beautiful spring day here in New York, 75 degrees, sunny, and all I'm missing right now is my beautiful wife and an ice cold Stein Lager, New Zealand's best import. But actually, now that I think about that, considering DCS's parent company, Fisher Paykel, is from New Zealand, one might actually argue that DCS might be New Zealand's finest import by way of Huntington Beach, California, where they're based. Hmm. We'll have to think about that. But enough about geography over here. It's time to continue talking about these grills. If you saw my first blog post, my video post the other week, I started talking about the new grills, how I brought one home, how I started kicking the tires on it, and I love it. Um, what we're going to focus on today is one of the new accessories. Yes, DCS has done some new things, and that was really what the last blog post was about, was that DCS has changed things up on the grills for the first time in eons. This was a grill that I've always said never really needed to change. They have the grease management system, they have the all-surface searing capability, they have the fantastic construction, they have the heritage, the iconic, iconic reputation. These are the guys who really got the whole high-end grilling thing going. 20 some odd years ago um, as it swept from the west coast and now it's proliferating all over the east coast as well. DCS is a lifestyle brand, an outdoor lifestyle and it's all good. And hey, America's Test Kitchen loves it as well. But um, they decided to change a few things. Now there's a couple, you know, there's some text that changed on the front of the grill or disappeared. The knobs and the bezels changed. Who cares about that? We're going to talk about more important things. We're going to talk about features added. And one thing that kept coming up was that, and, and as we sold this grill, and we sold, you know, quite a number of them, people would always be like, well, the Lynx and the Viking and the Wolf and the Alfresco and the Fire Magic and this one and that one all have dedicated sear burners on there and the DCS doesn't. So we were always just like, it doesn't need it. DCS is the only grill that offers all surface searing which is a beautiful thing so you could actually have one burner be at sear mode you could have the whole grill be at sear mode it's about flexibility all surface searing nobody does it they should patent that or put a trademark on that phrase um, but the market is demanded the market is called for um, an infrared type cooking device on the grill so DCS had to answer the question do we take the grill re-engineer it maybe offer a different skew with an actual infrared burner in it Okay, um, doing that, you know, production efficiency is not so good. Um, so what they did is the following, and it was actually, it was pretty brilliant. They said, we're gonna offer an accessory. It is an infrared I IR hybrid insert burner, okay? So what this thing is, it's an in-canal based um, burner, which you could actually see pictures of right now as I'm speaking. And what this does is it inserts into the grill. So what you'll do is you'll remove your grates like so, and you will actually also remove the ceramic rods that DCS uses for flame and flare up suppression. So basically you have the burner and then you have the in canal infrared insert above it. That will go in there and from what I've been told, okay, DCS brass is telling me that that insert will get your searing temperature your temperature's up to searing 50% quicker than just hitting sear on one of the knobs over here. Because remember, we have to go into this with the fundamental knowledge that the DCS affords you to get the searing temperature at any of these points without this thing. So I said to them, why are you bothering doing this? And it's about the public demands it, the public demands some type of infrared capability, so they want to see that color orange red glow underneath the thing. So you know what, we're offering this, it's in canal based, it's proven in the market, and it's going to get the temperature 50% faster if that means anything to them. Okay, cool. So in my test, what I did, the infrared insert burner went on the left side, on sear, the middle burner went to sear, let it go for about five to seven minutes. What happened? The middle burner was actually, actually registering an average of 970, 980 degrees. The infrared insert, 780, 790. Go figure, okay? DCS obviously has done a lot more R&D than I have on this, okay? A lot more testing. They're telling me it's getting the temperature 50% faster. My initial test didn't do that. We'll continue working on it. Um, my second observation with the infrared burner was that I put a very fatty piece of skirt steak heavily, heavily marinated, teriyaki marinade, put it on the middle burner, which is at nearly a thousand degrees, flare up 
city, I mean, the DCS grease management control, technology, flare suppression system, as good as it is, couldn't handle this. You see the bonfire. What I did do though, is I moved it over to the infrared insert side, you'll notice no flare up at all. Totally suppressed, calm cooking, kept the skirt steak over there, saved it, came out, my wife told me, steakhouse quality it was all good. So maybe that's another use for it that DCS isn't even aware of right now. You actually have more flame control, more of a controlled cooking at a very, very high temperature on that side, even if it isn't registering normally at 1,000 degrees or above for the, um, for the sear. Um, or actually what you could do is put it in there, take the uh, knob below sear for some very, very highly controlled high temperature cooking. All I know is that I'm going to continue to test this, knock this thing around, put different types of foods on there, see what it is. And I'm just going to report back to you guys to further educate you because that's what it's all about. Folks, that's it. The next video installment will be about the griddle accessory, which I had the pleasure of starting to use last night. And remember, DCS grills, we can ship them nationwide. Call us or click on us. Curtos.com, email and phone number on the bottom. Thank you.